Okay, we're going to talk about doing pre-trips on intermodal container chassis um, and some of the special things to look for um, when doing pre-trips on intermodal specific. So we're going to start at the top of the trailer, um, looking for any kind of obvious damage, um, checking to make sure that the reflective taping is up in the corners. Then we're going to work our way down to the chassis. We're going to check the glad hand seals and the electrical outlet, make sure that's all intact, that the seals are in good condition. Um, then we're going to check the two front pins to make sure they're in the locked position, that the um, that it's holding the box onto the chassis, that it's not that the box is not sitting on top of the pins. Now we're going to check the side of the box in the chassis. Um, just looking down the box, looking for any any kind of obvious damage, any holes. Um, we're going to check the top of the box. Um, we're looking for inner box connectors that may have been left on at the rail yard. Um, they have to be removed. That's a big chunk of metal that can fly off. Um, and then we'll work our way down and start working on the chassis. All right, so now we're going to check the side of the chassis underneath the container or underneath the box. Um, we're looking to make sure our reflective stripes on there, that there's no cracks or welds, um, that our landing gear looks like it's in good shape. Um, this is where we'll find our annual inspection and our registration. Um, it's a little different than on a, a regular box trailer where that stuff's usually up in the front by the glad hands. Um, on an intermodal chassis, it's on the side of the chassis, but just behind the landing gear. So now we're gonna check our pins and the underside of the chassis. We're gonna go under and look at the brake chambers and the slack adjusters, make sure that the pins on the slack adjusters are in place with cotter keys. The brake shoes, brake drums, tires, we're going to pay special attention to intermodal tires because they have a tendency of being um, very bad. So we're gonna start from the top down, checking the top of the box to make sure we have our reflective striping in place, that our doors are latched, um, our hinges are not broken, um, everything's in place and not broken. And we're gonna work our way down, making sure that we have our reflective striping across the back um, and that our lights are working. Our box is locked into place on the chassis, um, that the box is not sitting on top of the pins and that it is zip stripped in place so that it doesn't come loose in transit. So some major call outs when doing an intermodal pre-trip, um, tires, lights, and brakes, common problems with these. And also if, the, if you do find anything wrong, um, make sure you get it fixed before you outgate it out of the ramp. Um, all the ramps have places to get them fixed right at the ramp. Once you outgate it with a problem, you own it.